Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Senior Solutions Engineer with Adobe. Today we're going to see how we can create a branching effect inside Captivate 5. Right now if I took a look at Window, Branching View, you'll see that I have a bunch of slides that are very linear. Um, in other words, slide 1 goes to slide 2, slide 2 goes to slide 3. What we'd like to do is place some buttons on this first slide and give the end user an option to visit which section of the slideshow. In this case, my slideshow consists of various vacation slides from two locations, one Big Ben and two Colorado. We're going to create a Big Ben button and a Colorado button and see how we can create a branching type scenario in this case. So the first thing I want to do is select the slide which I want to serve as my menu slide. In this case, it's slide number one. I'm going to click on the button tool to insert a button. It creates a button and places it on my Captivate screen. And I'm going to go under its general properties and give it a caption. In this case, it's going to say Colorado. New to Captivate 5 is the fact that the text will automatically allow the button to expand in size. If you don't want that effect, you can always visit the preferences by going to Edit Preferences and under your General Preferences, there's going to be a section where you can turn that off. So there's Global, Defaults, and right down here under General, you can uncheck Auto Size Buttons. In this case, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that button by doing Control D or Command D on the Mac or right click and choose Duplicate. It'll duplicate the button and I'll change its caption to Read Big Ben. And because I wish the Big Ben section to come first, I'll go ahead and place that button above the other. The next thing I want to do is uh, create a label for my slide. This will allow me to easily create the button interactions to target the appropriate slide. So I'm going to click the second slide which is the start of my Big Ben slideshow. I'm going to come over here and where it says label I'll type in Big Ben. You can see a label has been created for that second slide. I'm going to scroll down to the start of my Colorado slides. Single click on that and type in Colorado. And you could label each slide if you wanted to, but I'm just going to label the start point of each one of the sections. So the rest of the slides happen to do with Colorado in that case. So now I'm ready to create the branching effect. Again, if I chose window and branching view, you're going to see that nothing, uh, there are no branches currently created. It's very linear. So I'm going to close this out. All we have to do is single click on a button and provide some actions for the button. In this case, on success, I want this to jump to a slide. I want it to jump to the Big Ben slide. And you can see the labels are going to help me focus the action on the appropriate slide. I'm going to single click on the Colorado slide, go to its action settings, and on continue, we want it to jump to a slide. In this case, the slide we want it to jump to is Colorado. That's all there is to creating the branches. So now if I click on Window, Branching View, you're going, you're going to see that we have two separate branches created inside my project. Now right now if I was to scroll to the end of each branch, the end of each branch currently takes me to the start slide of the next branch. Instead we'd like the end user to be taken to the menu slide. If I double click on this last slide, it's going to bring it into focus. And then uh, what I can do is slide 17, instead of going to the next slide, I want it to jump to the first slide. I'll go ahead and save the changes to that. So now instead of going to the first slide of the next branch, it's going to go to the first slide of the entire project. I'm going to scroll down and bring focus to this slide right here. I'll double click it. We're going to change its settings that to go jump to a specific slide, in this case slide one. Okay, so um, we are done creating the branching scenario. If I want to, I can navigate the branching interface by dragging the small focus box around to the various sections 
of the branching diagram. The other thing I can do is export the branching diagram where it says export branching view. I can click on that and take a snapshot, in this case I'll save it to my desktop, of the current branch. So I'll save it as a JPEG picture. This is very useful if you are working in a collaborative environment or your branching view becomes somewhat complex and you need to print it and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and close the branch. I'm going to add some interaction to my slideshow now. I'm going to click the first slide and do a control A to select all the other slides. In this case I wish to change the backgrounds of all the slides to something darker. So I'll just choose dark gray. You can see because I had all the other slides selected their backgrounds became gray as well. I also want to create a transition effect. So each slide is going to play for three seconds and in this case I'll add a nice fade transition. Again because I had all the slides selected they all have had the same transition applied to them. So now I want to view my project. So I'm going to click on view and I'm sorry file come down to its uh, preview and I want to preview the entire project. Notice you can also tap your F4 key. It builds up my project and you'll see that I have two buttons and if I click on the big bin button it's going to take me to those pictures that deal with the big bin branch. Each picture has a three second long uh, transition applied to it with a nice fade effect that will transition to the next slide. Once this gets to the end of the big bin pictures it's going to jump back to the menu slide. So that's all there is to creating branch and scenarios in Captivate 5.